Welcome back guys. Today's vlog is going to consist of the incontinence products that I'm going to talk about. Um, this, which I use on a daily basis, maybe three, four times a day if needed. And these, depending on where I'm sitting, three or four times a day as needed. So, and we're going to talk about something really really freaky that only you would think would happen in somebody's nightmares this morning we'll just go ahead and get back to that now this morning i woke up and i swiped my face like this i looked down because something was on it so um so i looked down and there goes a spider off the side of my bed, the spider was on my face. Yes, you heard me. The spider was on my face. Madison does not do spiders. Madison is a big bunch of nope when it comes to spiders. Nope. Big cup of nope. Nope, nope, nope. And ironically, so is my husband who's in there playing a game. I'm not sure which game he's playing. Um, but he may run in here at a certain time. You may hear a little man over here giving us some loud noise. They both just woke up from naps. They were cranky babies. Um, but yeah, as I said, it was a brown house spider. I don't know if you guys know what those are. In Ohio and, and Georgia and many other states, we call them house spiders. So yes. One was on my face, and I diligently screamed for my husband, who was on the phone with my father-in-law at the point, and I said, can you see where that spider that just literally crawled, crawled, crawled off my face is? So he was looking all around, and he doesn't rest until he finds a spider and kills it. So hopefully he found it. I'm still not clear on that if he found it. But um, to my incontinence products, this is a small Prevail brief that I wear for just daily incontinence. And it works like, if you guys have ever seen kids pull ups, can you all see that? If you guys have ever seen kids pull ups, uh, when you're potty training, that's actually what I used to own used to wear up until right before I got pregnant where the kids won. That's what they look like. Um, my insurance pays for these now. Um, it, it took me a while to get find a company and once I found a company and once I knew the ins and outs of it, it was literally like three or four days before I had everything shipped. So that's I use Three or four of these on a day where a normal day. If I'm drinking a lot of water, I could use five to six of these a day. They send with me nine packs of 22, so it's supposed to be upwards of 200 a month. So we get that many. So there's the incontinence brief for you. Nothing special. I use no liners, no anything. It's just the incontinence brief. And again, that's the Prevail. That's the Prevail um, women's incontinence brief. So. And then now we're moving on to what some people would call call a um, Chuck's pad in the hospital. That's what they're called. Other people call them underliners. That's what my company calls them. And I think actually, yeah, they're, actually this might be one. Yeah, this is just one. It unfolds pretty far. What I do hold on let me get this folded back up what my husband does in the morning or my four-year-old who's now over there pitching a fit like she's two years old 
She says she's itchy, which could be from a blanket. She just woke up. But, um, he or my four-year-old will put one of these in my chair. My four-year-old is a big help with this. She loves helping now. Um, she will put one in my chair in the morning, and I'll sit on that. And then as I get changed throughout the day, the pad will get changed in my wheelchair. Sometimes it does leak on to the pad. Just because if I am for some reason going an ex exorbitant amount a day, then I have the, the pad there to catch it. You know, I have my seat's not getting wet and it's not getting ruined. And I don't have to get a, a new seat um, with a ch my chairs as much as I used to when I was little. Because when I was little, even though I had insurance, my grandma didn't know much about having insurance pay for my medical supplies. I qualify for a lot more medical supplies, such as a Hoyer lift and like reachers and stuff like that. It just all depends on what I'm using in my time of life right now. My husband lifts me so we don't see a need to get a Hoyer lift in the current house we're in because we're thinking about putting our house on the market to find a better house. So, again, this is just a underliner pad or under pad or a chucks pad. Um, I, I can unfold it, but I don't know if I'll get it on the frame. No. Um, let me just, I'll just, as you can see, it's all white. And it's, yeah, I got some of it in there. As you can see, it's all white, and it's, that's the absorbent part of it. And it's got the plastic backing to make sure that nothing gets past the pad, basically. And what you do is you just tuck it under the seat of the chair or any chair you're sitting in. I do sit in my recliner sometimes um other than that no i usually sit in my chair but yes that's the incontinence pad and we do qualify for um i don't know if i have any near me hmm. we do qualify for two packages of Two packs of latex gloves for my husband if and when he needs them. He doesn't need them. My insurance company, however, does not pay for the wipes, the medicated wipes that sometimes I need because my seat rubs blisters on my thigh. They do, however, pay for barrier creams and such like that for me. They just don't cover the wipes. I don't use barrier creams right at this moment. I, we do have have and use a tube of Dacetin sometimes. It's more for the kids. Um, but if the need should arise, we do use it. And we do make sure I'm protected and, you know, um, well taken care of. But I did want to be coy and come out not coy. Um, be open with you guys and come out and show you my incontinence products when my next shipment comes in I will um, do a video on that as well now on to the spider on my face yes that did happen this morning it will happen I'll try to find a picture of the spider I am talking about and put one below as well or in in the video as well as um in the next fall we'll probably be talking about oh that's right i said we were gonna have an update on the kids from the park um you won't want to miss it so stick around and i'll see you guys in the next vlog stay beautiful bye